Hey everyone. I want to make this video about Canvas Analytics and really it's just an introduction to the analytics tool that's available. But we wanted to kind of take from what is it, go from what is it to how can what I glean from this video or how can I glean from this tool be actionable and how can it actually impact student learning, student retention, course design. So we're going to kind of jump around a little bit with the tool but Think about macro and micro. Macro meaning how, what information can I get from this tool that's gonna to allow me to focus on the course as a whole, some of my assignment timing, some of my quiz questions. Um, maybe if we see a specific dip in an assignment by using this tool, we can develop you know, scaffolding to help students perform better we can kind of get an insight into all of that and that's at the macro level but also on the micro level too thinking you know week one what does this course need or what specific students are struggling week one and maybe we notice it's more than just one and then we can kind of get to the macro level of what interventions in the orientation module could I develop or what kind of activities could I develop in this course. So we're going to kind of jump around and to do that we're going to look at um, a course that was offered up by Ursula Heflick. This is a course that she taught. She said we can give this a spin. Um, this is a fall course and so right now we can see we're on her homepage. She has this really cool homepage um, with all of our modules broken down. And over on the right hand side is the new analytics. So we'll jump into there. Now if you haven't played around, you'll notice that the, the dashboard is very different. And this dashboard is interactive. Um, up at the top here, what I'm adjusting is the, it's the calendar, it's the time. And so because this course was taught last fall, we've got to go back in time. Your information will be more accurate if it's this live course. But like I was saying, this, this dashboard is interactive. And so if I highlight over specific things, I can get um, specific, you know, specific information there. And if I click on it, more data will pop up. And so I can pull up data here. And so what we're looking at here is weekly online activity. And when I click that, it showed the students that were in the course and how, much, how many page views did they have. Um, we'll go ahead and do that again, and I know it's blurred out, but we got to protect our student rights, but we can see our students' privacy. We can see that this specific student had 153 page views, and now if I scroll all the way down, I notice that, you know, hey, Skitch the Bigfoot didn't have any page views this week. And if this is week one, we, we automatically have an opportunity to reach out to a student who's not engaged in the course at all. And maybe you can't convince that student, but maybe you can. So I clicked on the student. We can see that student interaction. Um, I can see their course grade. I can see weekly online activity. Okay, I say, okay, he started off with three page views, but now he's not doing anything this week. Skitch is really struggling. Um, I can pull up and download some different different um, data sources and I can go into communication. I can see if he's communicated with me at all. But then this tool right here allows me to reach out to Skitch and I can say, hey Skitch, we've got an issue. Um, you know, what are the barriers to your success and how can I help you get there? And so right away, you know, we were just looking at page views and we're able to get some information about one of our struggling students. But overall, we're looking at weekly online activity here. And this, this carrot, if you will, allows me to toggle between that and course grade. But I can see the flow of the course as a whole. And so this course is over. And so if we're looking at the macro, we're able to see kind of the overall flow of the course. And I think this is pretty typical of a lot of courses. There's a lot of... Um, views and activities at the beginning, and then it settles into a rhythm for quite a while, ramps up a little bit at the end, and then it settles off at the end of finals week. That's pretty typical. Now, if you had a dip in here, or if you got kind of a, a high peak all the way through, there may be some insights in there that the course could be tweaked to you know, to increase some student engagement if there is a dip, if there is a dip there.
there's a couple of weeks where students really aren't logging in. Maybe maybe we can add in some pre-work to a project that maybe um, the students are working on or add some formative assessment to some of the reading or lecture viewing that they're supposed to be doing. And so that's weekly online activity. Like I said, if you click this, you can toggle to course grade. And what this does is this shows you the average scores right off the top of students' performance on your assignments, discussions, and quizzes. And then you can target and isolate those specific pieces. Um, so if we're looking at assignments, discussions, or quizzes, you know, we can look at outliers. And so I see some average performance. It seems like kind of in that 75 to 95 range, but we do have a few outliers. And here it's, it's helpful as an instructor to go, okay, what are those outliers that maybe students are struggling on? And how can I either tilt to that assignment specifically or scaffold that assignment you know maybe this right here is a presentation or it's a project or an essay you know what are can I chunk that essay out into smaller pieces that allows me to give students feedback so that their performance is better on the bigger project um, or maybe the timing is wrong here so this tool gives us those insights and so that's course grade and that's more of a macro level too, you know, towards the end of the course. Let's go back to weekly online activity and I wanna show you a pretty interesting feature. The in envelope here allows you to open the message students who. Now we've had this feature before, but it was limited. Now it allows us to target, send targeted messages to specific students who have viewed or didn't view items in your course. So if you have, you know, and by items in your course, I mean any pages that are published, announcements that are published, um, files, or assignment pages. And so we can see viewed, didn't viewed, participated, or didn't participate. So then you can send targeted messages. So if I want to see maybe week one, day three maybe, who didn't read the syllabus? Oh, for this class, there are seven students. Now, likely, um, Ursula has her syllabus in a couple different spots, so we don't have to freak out here. But, you know, just as an example, I can click this button, and it's going to populate a, a message with those students as the, as the two or as the BCC field in a message. Um, and you can immediately send a targeted message to those students who are struggling a little bit. Um, and so you can do that for any of your announcements or assignments. And so think day three, day four, into that first short week. If you're going through this message students who and you've identified that your weekly activity is low with these three or four students, you can send a targeted message right to them and say, hey, students that do well in this course, they're active, they read the syllabus, they watch the lecture, they engage in this material. So I'd really hope you consider doing that. Let me know what barriers are, are um, causing you to miss this stuff. And often students will, um, you know, that might just be the, the kick that they need, the little nudge that they need. So we'll try to keep this, I'm gonna to try to keep this video short. Um, other aspects about analytics and Canvas analytics we'll look at specifically throughout this module, but here is just a quick little video giving you a little bit of insight into how to use this tool and hopefully how you can see it as the macro and a micro view. Cheers.